question about this, uh, this problem that came up. So it says a $25,000, 15% 80 day note dated November 5th is discounted at National Bank on January 5th. The discount period is what? So we're supposed to figure that out. The answer is right here below, but I just wanted to explain how this all comes together and maybe give you some graphics and, and some expo explanation on this one. So to do that, I'm gonna pull up my PowerPoint here. So to begin with, we have the origination date, right? So the origination date is going to be November 5th. And that's, that's gonna be the origination date here. So origination date right here is November 5th. And as we go forward, we have all the way at the other end, we have the maturity date. So that's when the note is due, right? When the note's gonna be paid off. So that's gonna be uh, how long? It's gonna be 80 days, right? All the way from origination to maturity. We know we don't we know the beginning date, we don't know the ending date. So what we can do to figure out the ending date is we can go manually through the calendar year, right? And figure out how long it's gonna take from origination to maturity. Uh, and, and what the maturity date is gonna be. We already know it's 80 days. So as we go through here, we can say, okay, November, we've got 30 days in November, right? And so as we do November, we know that that's 25 days in November. And then we can tack on December here. We know that December is gonna have 31 days. So total together, that's gonna be 56 days and now so we have 50 days 56 days through uh, the end of December we know January here we is gonna be 31 days right we're not gonna use all those days in January because that's gonna be way too much it's gonna be more than 80 so what we can do here is we can actually just solve so we know there's 80 days total in the, this period right or in this uh, note right so that's the 80 days right there that we're bringing down and we're just gonna subtract, we're gonna find the difference here, and that is actually gonna give us a difference of 24, okay? So we know that we've got uh, 24 more days here in, uh, in January, at the end here. That's how many days are left in January to get us to the 80 days. So January 24th is the maturity date, 80, 80 days after November 5th, okay? So the question though is, what is the discount period? So right here at this point, we're gonna say the, the, uh, it is gonna be discounted on January 5th. That's the discount date, right? January 5th, it tells us what that date is. So January 5th is the discount day. That, that means that's the day that, so let's say we uh, created, we originated this note, um, somebody owes us, right? They sign the note, they owe us money. And then we go along our merry way and January 5th, we decide, you know what? We need the cash now. So what we, need, what we can do is we can go to a bank and we can say, hey, here's this note. You, uh, if you um, want the note, we'll sell it to you. We'll accept less cash than the maturity value. And so by accepting less cash than the maturity value, the, the note is being discounted, right? So they're paying us, the bank is paying us less cash than the value of the note is gonna be. And so they're discounting. And so they're gonna make some money in this, in this discount period. This right here is the discount period, that red right there. That red is the discount period. And what we wanna find out the, the whole idea of this whole problem is to find out how many days that period is there with the red arrow, going from January 24th back to January 5th. And we know if we find the days in between there, that discount period is actually going to be 19 days. So that's 19 days in between the 5th and the 24th. That's how long the discount period is. And that's what we're gonna, that's what we're supposed to find out. It's really important as we go through problems like this, you know, I really like to draw out uh, timelines like this, right? So timelines can really help 
us understand kind of which part we're trying to find and which parts we already know, right? So if we already know it's 80 days, we know what the days are from origination to the, and the origination date and the discount date, then we know we need to solve for the maturity date. And we know we need to solve for that discount period in between the discounted uh, date and the maturity date. So it kind of lets us know what pieces are blank and what we can solve for as we kind of put those pieces in. Also, it helps us when we're calculating the actual amount, right? What is the discount amount from the bank? We need to know the days involved with the discount period to apply the interest, the discount interest in there. Um, and so that can also be filled in. This is just kind of the timeline in the days as we start applying interest rates and amounts and discounts and discount rates, then uh, we go off of this basic timeline and do that and enter that into the, um, the equations that we have for this chapter. So, so uh, hopefully this video helps. Uh, gives you an idea of how I use timelines and how I solve for dates and different things and how you can too. If you have any further questions, feel free to get a hold of me and I'll help you out. Thanks. Bye.